Hi, <clears throat> my name is Dan Rapetti, and I'm the inventor of the skirt. The skirt is an intervening heat conducting medium. If you know anything about heat transfer and the physics of, of heat transfer, you will understand how this works. I'll get into that in a little while. I want to tell you first about how traditional, conventional stovetop cooking works. Traditionally, a pot similar to this, like this here, the flame is put on, there's contents inside, the object is to heat the vessel, and then through the vessel heat the contents within. Now, normally the heat will flow from the burner, play along the bottom of the pot, and then heats the bottom of the pot and slowly heats the pot to where all of the pot is hot and then continues to heat and cook the contents within. But this is an inherently wasteful process as the energy that heats the pot doesn't have a long life because soon after heating the bottom it is up the sides and is lost. It's just not economical. With my invention, the skirt, that normally lost heat is now recovered, harnessed, and reutilized. It recycles the energy that is normally lost in the conventional stovetop cooking process. That heat is then transferred to the vessel via conduction. With normal conventional heating, and this, this is a 10 inch pot. The heat, there's 80 inches, 80 square inches on a 10 inch cooking vessel that is heated. With the, with the, the um, skirt, three times that area, 240 inches is exposed to the energy and the heat from the, from the heating source. In this case, the burner setting. Now the flame from the burner is heating the vessel and it's using all of the energy that is normally lost now in the conventional system and is reusing that heat over and over and over again. It actually recycles that energy and prolongs its usefulness and prolongs its life and prolongs uh, the amount of money you're going to lose if you don't save it. Now, there's different laws of physics involved and they're in this book, The Essentials of Firefighting. I was a firefighter for 25 years. I retired as a captain and one of the first things we learn as a firefighter is how fires and heat is transferred throughout a building. Now we call it communicated throughout a building there's different ways to explain this. I also want to point out that I have been awarded two patents on this invention. I have a third patent pending uh, that has to do with um, other vessels that can be heated, for example, water heaters and burners, uh, boilers and furnaces, that sort of thing. And this is just to show how that energy can be saved. Now, with this, multiple laws of the physics, proven physics of heat transfer are involved. Multiple. Two of them, right off the bat, heat rises. Okay, heat rises, it's in here. How heat rises unless it comes in contact with another uh, object, as in, in a fire room, fire building, the roof or the um, ceiling, the heat will then bank down, and that's the process and the, uh, how this works. It will bank down, heat the vessel, heat the, the contents through not only conduction but convection, and then heat the contents, saving approximately 40-50% of energy. I guarantee 
it saves no less than 30%. Even if you don't know what you're doing, you will save 30% of the energy um, that you would normally lose in the conventional stovetop cooking process. I believe this is a revolutionary slash evolutionary idea. Sooner or later, this is going to be a game changer in the way things are heated in this world. And over time, this green innovation will, will make a big difference in the ecology and our fragile planet.